just like Camelo Hayes, baby. I don't miss. They set up perfectly what I've been predicting in older videos. They set up perfectly what I've been predicting when I've been watching NXT. They predicted what I said Sunday. This right here, Trick Williams, Kamala, Kamala Hayes, it's going to be a future main event match for that title right there. Not this title, but my title, the baby belt. That's mine. That right there. As always, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below. Or do you want to see this match right here? It's not going to take place right away. See, I'm going I'm to break it down for you. Like DX, break it down. Da -da -da -da. Da 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 Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams gonna battle for the NX title. That's what they do. That's what they're gonna do, baby. Judge me all you want on my singing accolades. But let me tell you. Let me talk to you, yeah. Carmelo Hayes had one heck of a match. Probably the best match in his whole career on NXT. Going against Dragunov. In a match that I figured Kamala Hayes would walk away from as the champion. But I tell you what, they had me suspensing on belief. I didn't know if he's going to do it or not. And as always, when Kamala shoots, he don't miss. But he's missing something right here. He's missing that Trick Williams is having the jealousy come over him. He's missing the fact that Trick Williams is now beginning to feel like he is in the shadow of Kamala Hayes. And that he has to do something. To get himself out of this shadow. And that is the face dragging off himself. To finish the feud that they have going on between each other. And we all know what's going to happen. Chuck Williams is going to show up. He's going to show out. And he's going to get beat. And in that defeat. The jealousy. The doubt. The hunger. It's all going to come to fruition. Now, I think we're going to, after what we saw last night, Wes Lee is going to be the next one in line to go after that NXT title. Without a doubt, that's probably what's going to happen, folks. As Paul Heyman always says, that's not a prediction. That is a spoiler. And then it's going to be shortly after, I'm saying around WrestleMania Royal Rumble time, you're going to see Trick Williams and Camilla Hayes battle out best friends that used to be allies. Yeah, it's going to become mortal enemies like Batman and Robin when Robin has moments in his comic books where he has to get out of Bruce Wayne's shadow. And he's going to think that he's better than the teacher. And you're going to find out that Trick Williams is not going to be good enough. Well, I, you know, I don't know that. By that time, maybe we'll see some things happen. Kamala Hayes is ready for the main roster. You don't want to see these two break up. I don't want to see these two break up. It's like that couple that you see, man. Oh, you guys are such a cute couple. You guys make such a great couple. And then you find out a couple weeks later after you say all that nice stuff. And you think, oh, man, if I'm going to have a relationship, that's what I want my relationship to look like. And then they split up. And you're like, well, hey, what happened here? What's going on? I thought you guys were perfect. You guys were happy together. And there's two sides of every story. Trick Williams has all the makings to be a superstar. Kamala Hayes is going to be a superstar. And I can say that confidently because I just talked about this the other day, actually. That since Vince McMahon is no longer in complete control of creative, that Triple H can take people from NXT and have the same characters that we all fall in love with on NXT go over to the main roster. And keep the storylines a-going. Keep that character there. Vince McMahon would always take a character, let's take a Keith Lee, for instance, and turn him and turn the superstar into something 110% different. Unfortunately, I AEW has not done a great job with Keith Lee. I'm just going to say that right now since we're talking about Keith Lee. But this vision, the friendship that Triple H and Shawn Michaels, think about it. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Kamala Hayes, Trick Williams. Them type of matches always put on a really, really good outing because one, they know each other, two, they're really old friends, and, and that makes really good chemistry. Just like when two wrestlers hate each other in real life, they put on a really good show nine times out of ten because I, 
think they really do try to kill each other. And they're trying to outdo each other. So this right here is going to be a fantastic match. I don't talk about NXT enough. But the things that NXT does, they need more than they need some more spotlight. And I'm just as guilty as the next guy not giving them the spotlight. So I'm giving them the spotlight this week. And I'm going to start to try to do it more often. This video ain't going to be very long. I'm, but I, I got to talk about it. Got to talk about it. This is a match, a future five-star match possibly in the making. Shout out Dave Meltzer, who never gives five-star ratings to many matches in WWE. He's more of a ooh and ah guy more than a story guy. And that's nothing all. That's not a shot at him. That's just his personality. That's what he likes. I like a good storyline. So the better the storyline, the better the story is being told, the more invested I'm going to be. That's just the way I am. Storyline driven, baby. 